So my name is Tina Gooding. I am a retired law enforcement officer and I'm on the cadre here at the sawmill helping with classes and being a range safety officer on the ground. And I lead the firearms team for the I Will Survive weekend with SASCA. When I started law enforcement, I knew nothing about personal safety. I was pretty naive and getting into law enforcement made me see that there are a huge need for women to learn how to take care of themselves. And so in 2005, I started the program at University of South Carolina for uh, faculty, staff, and students, and then it just grew from there. I got a passion for seeing the looks on their faces when it clicked, and they knew that they could protect themselves if they needed to. And so now I've talked to probably thousands of people, people in wheelchairs, people who are visually impaired, hearing impaired, and giving them just the tools they already had, they just didn't know they had them. So my name is Olin Sexton. I just retired from the Lexington County Sheriff's Department after almost 26 years. I currently run a nonprofit. It's called the Lindsay Pilkington Memorial Foundation, and I do that in uh, for a friend who was murdered. Uh, I met Shannon and her team here at the I Will Survive Weekend from Sasco, and we have been sponsoring scholarships and coming out here and helping to teach programs. One of the things that, that I try to do is, is to talk about your mental health and taking care of your own mental well-being. And that's an important piece of any self-defense program that you're working on, is that you have to know I can do this, and then you have to actually put the time and effort in it. And what I like about when we're here teaching and talking is it's a holistic approach. It's not just about form and making sure that your form is good. We're also talking about making sure that your spirit is right and that you are fighting forward to make sure you can take care of yourself or somebody else. Hi, my name is Mickey Ridd. I am the Director of Training for SASCO. And during the I Will Survive weekend at the Sawmill, I get to instruct the self-defense classes. A ton of research went into uh, learning the most common assault scenarios, the differences between men and women's physical abilities, as well as their internal tendencies to really create a very unique set of not only physical moves, but mental awareness that really allows women to utilize their greatest strengths against an attacker's greatest weaknesses. We make sure that when they leave, they are big and they are excited. Um, and we do that by showing them what they're already capable of. We're not giving them anything that they don't already have. We're just showing them the different weapons that they have on their bodies and teaching them how to aim and fire. Um, and that in itself, once they recognize what they are capable of doing on their own, it just takes it from there on its own. They get to feel that power and that changes everything. Oh, my name is James Hamilton. I am a senior vice president Gavin Becker and Associates. All we do is prevent attacks and I study attacks every single day. And I volunteer my time here at South I'm teaching personal security awareness since 2008 and uh, heard about Shannon's group through their use of the gift of fear, which is uh, Gavin DeBecker's book. Gavin DeBecker is my, my boss. And uh, just because we're so closely aligned mentally with what we're doing and how we teach individuals, how we empower individuals to protect themselves and save their own life. It was just a natural segue to, to help with this weekend and help SAS go because they're all about empowering individuals. I teach people how to protect themselves from physical violence and that starts with mindset, starts with intuition and situational awareness, understanding your environment. Um, just basically taking tools and steps and trainings to empower yourself to protect your, your own life. Hi, I'm Dawn Wilcox and I live near Dallas, Texas. I'm a full-time registered nurse and I'm also a femicide researcher. I've been shooting on and off since I was about 18, but I never really had the kind of the one-on-one -on -one training that I've had here that's made me feel much more comfortable um, with firearms and much more comfortable with more tactical situations that I might really encounter. In 2016, I created Women Count USA Femicide Accountability Project where I document all women and girls who've been murdered by men and boys in the United States starting in 1950 and moving forward. And as I've done this weekend, I can't help but think that many of those women's lives could have been saved if they'd done something like this, if they'd had this kind of information, these skills, um, you know, 
the situational awareness, uh, the ability to say no, and to know that protecting themselves is um, really up to them ultimately, and that it's okay to um, do whatever you need to do to protect your life. Uh, my name is Tiffany Lee, and I am from Austin, Texas. The instructors are so thoughtful about the way they teach, the way the program is designed, to make everyone feel safe, no matter your comfort level or experience level. Every step along the way, the instructors have gone out of their way to make you feel more comfortable and confident in yourself. Obviously, the skills and experience is so valuable. You just have this safety and security knowing that they know what they're doing. What's really cool is they take their expert knowledge and help you apply it in your own life. So it's, it's a really unique, amazing experience.